So I know I look a little bit crazy right now, but so I just about this. I already already told y'all from the intro already. So I already washed my I just washed my hair, y'all. I know, I know. My hair like shrinks like really bad, y'all. Like really bad. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna just show y'all what I do to achieve this look. Period. So yeah, like I said, um, my hair like shrinks like really bad, bro. Really bad. But. That's fine. So the first thing I do, anytime that I wash my hair, I put like this thing on. What you say? I don't know where to put it. I put this thing in my hair just so I could, it's not dry or nothing like that. I just put it through my hair and stuff so it could be easier to work with. <laughs> all right so yeah that's that's it okay so everything that you're gonna need for this you're gonna need a brush that you can slick your hair with like a hard brush you feel me i like to well i, I like to use all brush i like to get my things slick you're gonna need some edge control i use edge booster that's not what you're gonna use all of them work got to be the black one so I use a green one, a comb, and like a pig foot. So yeah, as I do that, I just start by picking out my hair. Up to how much you want it to or Just finished um 
washing my hair and I kind of stopped using heat like and it usually anytime that um I wash my hair I blow dry it right after just to get it like stressed out so it's easier to work with but now I just been recently like I try to stop using too much heat on my hair you feel me so yeah I just let it air dry and just pick it up do it as much as me like how many times i'm taking a rubber band off and like putting re putting gel and stuff like that i just like my hair like really slick you feel me y'all gonna see how i look when i'm done though y'all gonna see what i'm talking about remember i'm just using these two so you can mix it up as much as you want process until it's as slick as you want it to so i'm gonna get back to y'all um, yes when it's basically out of bread y'all these hair still the ones on i'm gonna get back to y'all when i get it as sick as i want so okay y'all so i got i got it to how slick i want it to be or whatever this is how it looks right now we're not we're not done obviously you feel me oh yeah i forgot to tell you you're gonna need bobby pins too wait yeah, this is how it looks like I said, my hair back is short, but I'm gonna let it lay like a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let it lay a little bit. So, get a scarf. Oh, just wait. Gonna get a scarf. Y'all, I don't know how my scarf got a um, hole in it. I don't know what happened, but it was still good. It still did the job. So, you yeah, gonna lay that part. This part down here can lay like a little bit. I'm telling you, your hair gonna be slick. Yeah. I'm gonna come back to y'all. My hair is still like, it's drying. I'm gonna come back to y'all when my hair is like, you know, lay down a little bit. And I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, y'all. So I basically just took this car off and this is how it looks. Slick, 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 as you can tell. So, I'm gonna do all that. So, now we're gonna start doing the edges. And I'm gonna show y'all, we're not leaving it like this. I'm gonna show y'all how to like form it and stuff to make it look like an actual top knot. So, when I do this, I like to use this and the edge booster because, yeah, that's just what I do to have it. Like, it's, it's like I use the eco to like shape it and then do that. Um,
That's just me though, you don't have to do your edges like this. That's just how I do it. show y'all how like I shape it and make it look like a top knot bun. Y'all gonna need like a lot of bobby pins and stuff. I'll be using a lot of it. Um the little ones, the big ones don't matter. and stuff y'all just gotta shape it like you feel me just do it because you know our hair is, is different so it's gonna shape just do what you gotta do but, but this is how i'm showing y'all how i do mine i'll be having trouble though when i be shaping this like it don't be like, shaping the way i want it to shape hold up to show y'all how it usually looks but this is the process that I do it'd be like don't like this because like my hair don't be completely dry and stuff like that like I don't know
Yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can know every time I post a video. So like, yeah, this is the end result. I like it, you feel me? It looks better than what it was looking like before. And yeah, if you guys want to see how, um, like, uh, if you have like a fake ponytail there, like the one of those little attachment things, I forgot what it's called. But if you want to see how I do that, I'm going to put a picture in so you know what I'm talking about. If you want to see how I can achieve that look to make it look natural like your real hair, comment down below and I'll do that video too. And yeah. Bye. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with full tray. I just pulled on me a A. Real nigga all in my face. 500 rats in my safe. 500 rats to the